When I sat down with the fine folks from Gaslamp Games recently to see Clockwork Empires for the first time, I wasn't sure what to expect, but a mer-people attack had never crossed my mind as even a remote possibility. This city management simulation finds an intriguing middle ground between the city building of SimCity and the emergent anxieties of Dwarf Fortress. Now I know to expect the unexpected in Clockwork Empires, a management sim that mixes eldritch horrors and quaint colonial pioneers into the same melting pot. I also know to expect a drunk and high populace. Using alcohol and opium might make your villagers happy, but it will also make them lose specific memories. Memories are important because they help determine your villagers' needs, wants, and personalities. Gaslamp wants to keep Clockwork Empire's interface as clean as possible and has shied away from graphs and charts. The developer wants you to get to know your citizens as individuals, which sounds interesting, but does that mean clicking on a bunch of people to find out what all of the people want? Not necessarily. You can build a bureaucrat's office and hire a clerk who will give you status reports. But let's talk about the Mer people. There's something strange going on out in the Victorian era wilderness. You could provoke the fish people that live in the sea by overfishing, and they'll attack you should that happen. You could reduce the impact on the fish people's home by fishing less, or just set up some turrets to keep your colony safe. Or maybe you find some strange artifact. If you keep it, the ground near the character may become corrupted and poisonous growths will begin to grow. If you destroy it, that character may now be obsessed with researching the source of its power to try to reclaim their lost glory. You never know what might happen as you construct your colony. Your citizens might even resort to eating each other if you don't give them access to proper food. But don't worry, those fish people will also leave behind raw fish steaks when they die. Just don't be surprised if their finned friends make a play for vengeance. 